Pokemon Kitchen, I'm Julia. So today I have got a delicious pasta dish for you and into that pasta dish I am going to add in some delicious fresh chili and some wild boar sausages. It is kind of a different kind of sausages but if you don't have that kind or don't like to eat boar you can just buy some normal sausages or whatever sausages you like. But let's get started with this dish. So what I'm going to use for my wild boar sausage pasta dish is some extra granola bars, some crushed garlic, my boar sausages, one freshly sliced chili, some onion that I've just cut roughly, a little bit of cream, some spaghetti pasta that I'm just going to boil on the side, and then I have some basil, some salt, and some canned chopped tomatoes. So what I'm going to do is to add my extra virgin olive oil to a pan and then fry my sausages in there until they are nice and golden brown and then I'm going to take them up from the pan. And while that is going on, I'll of course sit on some water into another pot and boil my spaghetti pasta. But when my sausage is done, I'm going to use the same pot or pan to fry my onions, garlic and fresh chili in. And when the vegetables there are nice and soft, I'm going to add in my canned chopped tomatoes, my basil, and my cream and some salt. And then I'm just going to taste it and see if it needs any more salt and basil. And then I add in my sausages back into the pan and just give it all a good stir. And then at the end, I'm going to add my spaghetti in there and give it all a good toss. And after that, it is ready to be served with some grana cheese on top. And it is so so dark right now, so I have to turn on a very bad yellow light over at my stove. But I hope you'll keep watching and just uh, don't think about the bad light over there. But let's get started with this dish. <laughs> 